What's up, guys? Iggy here with Feltech Unlimited. It has been one hell of a few days. So I live in New Hampshire, and uh, if you guys are in the area, you know that we had a massive blizzard. Uh, it was actually terrible. The winds got up to 70 miles an hour. We were projected to get three feet of snow, but we only got about a foot and a half, which is nice. But you guys know my pit bull, Ben Benelli. He's the, uh, the gold tan white one. And he decided that he wanted to chase after something in the woods. And he has been missing since uh, Saturday morning. Uh, it is now Tuesday. So we're extremely worried. We got feelers out. Literally everything we can do. So I'm hoping he has a uh, safe return because it got pretty brutal. And it's currently like pretty much the temperature is ranging from negative 7 to, uh, to like 15 degrees here. But anyways, uh, I have a pretty cool build. I've been spending a lot of time in the woods trying to find him, so I decided to uh, take a break because it's like he vanished, and I'm in the garage keeping my mind off of it, and I have a uh, good friend of mine, actually a guy I went to high school with, requested a uh, magnetic holster. You guys know I make magnetic holsters already, but it's a pretty much an IWB magnetic so he could stick it to his truck or his toolbox or whatever, and I went ahead and made one, and now i got to make another and we're going to film it. So it's actually pretty cool. Um, I am almost done. A couple big builds, actually. Check this out. Light bearing uh, appendix rigs. I got one more left. I'm making the mag carrier now. Um, I didn't film those guys. They literally took me two days to do. And that is pretty much my last old order, which is fan. Fantastic. I can't wait to get it out. I'm so sorry to the dude that's been here. It's been like a month and a half or two months or something. It was an, it's late November on that order. So terrible, but parts and yeah. Anyways, so uh, let's just get to the build because this thing, this is awesome. All right, I've already went and I have taking, so here's the magnet, right? This is what I use to do all of my magnetic holsters. This thing is a beast. I went ahead and I cut some blocking that matches the outline of it. Uh, I, all I did was use my bandsaw and I used my grinder to go ahead and clean the edges and all that stuff. It's going to be on an EZ380. This is uh, what's requested. And this is just right here is just to fill in the dips, you know, so you can see that you, you got your where it sits up more on the pale horse mold. So this is literally just going to be here to just make it so it doesn't rock. And I'm going to tuck it up as far as I can go up here but I'm gonna leave a little bit area down here. Now, literally, this is this is the hardest part of it, <laughs> maybe. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take some El Tapo. And throw some tape down there. And if you don't remember, or don't forget, you got some uh, holes down there. So I, as soon as I find my razor, there you go, it should work. I'm just going to cut it right here. That way those holes are still exposed, so you get good suckage. There we go. And I'm just going to go ahead and throw a couple down on this side. And that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to go ahead and <laughs> we're just going to heat up the decks. We're going to throw it in there, make sure everything's clean, no debris on here, and bend it up. Now everything else is uh, is pretty easy. We'll just drill everything like normal because this is going to be a convertible IWB. Well, not convertible actually. It's going to have both mounted in there. And I'm going to go ahead and draw the mounting holes 
for the magnet. I'll just go ahead and drill all this out. Clean your holes. Cleaning your holes gets the hardware to sit flush. It will not, you know, not, not sit flat. So uh, yeah, clean your holes and then uh, everything's drilled. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit this on the uh, the bandsaw and then the router. Next you'll see it pretty much all set. Well, then we'll bend it, but first we're gonna mount the magnet. Cut trimmed, ready for this guy. Uh, if you're wondering, where I get these, these are 800 grit. They're one inch by, or half inch by like eight or something like that. I buy them on holstersmith.com. So real easy to find, just understanding wheels. Now, before you fold your shell, make sure, well, technically you don't have to, makes your life a lot easier. Mount the magnet first. You'll thank me. Ready to bend. Next step, pretty easy. Going to add our retention. I left my screw gun across the room and I don't feel like going to get it. See how much time this wastes? This thing is such a good investment. All right. I'll go ahead. Oh, clean that out real quick. Throw our hardware on. This is all just quarter inch, quarter inch, and uh, I believe my screws are three eighths. It's what I use for the metal foamies. Now all I have to do is laser engrave the foamies, which my laser is not in the garage, it is currently in my living room because, well, it is way too cold out here. And I don't want to risk popping the laser because I did that last year and it was a $1,300 mistake, so definitely can't do that. All right. And of course, these two holsters were for the, uh, the 380 EZ. Now you gotta you gotta be careful where you set it down. Um, so yeah, 380Z shit. You can even put them together. Nope. There we go. Yeah. Just like that, it's not happening. But there is the magnetic holster for the Shield uh, 380EZ. There are a ton of things out there that you can do in the Kydex world. Absolutely a ton. Um, this magnet, this it's pretty slick. I actually like this. I'm going to offer it for pretty much any of my vacuum formed uh, holds. Um, now, this thing, because the magnet is polarized the way it is, the way it's mounted, it doesn't have any magnetic field inside the holster, which means your handgun will not get stuck to the magnet, which is good. So, you could always just do this. <laughs> or even... options are endless so if you learned something on this uh this episode give me a like follow subscribe whatever you want and if you thumbs down it's okay because it's still positive on the youtube world anyways hope you learned something i am gonna go take my rhodesian ridge back and uh we're gonna go for a hike in the woods hopefully come up with something so until next time